One of the great terms I like in, um, in our world of B2B marketing is revenue marketing. It's pretty mm -hmm. self-explanatory. It's about marketing for revenue. One of the interesting uh, points that's come out of the, um, uh, the research, and I'll ask you uh, this, this question, Glenn, is around um, the, uh, the alignment between uh, marketing and sales functions. Uh, and a data point that comes out says that um, <coughs> only 36% of, of marketers believe they're getting satisfactory lead follow-up by their <laughs> sales counterparts, which has to have some impact on revenue, you would think, at some, at some point in time. So I'd be interested in um, a, uh, you know, your thoughts around that and how true that is and how that might be resolved. Sure, Andrew. Look, um, the first thing I want to do is probably just quantify my definition of revenue marketing. So. I think marketers have always been focused on performance and metrics, whether it be engagement or conversion or lead generation and the number. Uh, to me, revenue marketing is a model that really allows marketing teams to enable a repeatable process to, uh, to close deals and then also repeat that process in the context of the right customer to get the right contribution. So what we're looking at is more of a focus on the outcome as opposed to just the focus on the top of the funnel or mm -hmm. the start of the process. What that means is marketers now need to engage uh, across the business and in particular when it comes to revenue of course, we've got to heavily engage and collaborate with the sales teams. And I think historically you'll find the research from sales teams is that probably even roughly around 60% of sales teams globally are dissatisfied with the lead generations offered by marketing groups. And right. there's been a reason for that. One is they haven't been accountable for the leads in terms of sales. They don't have a clear understanding of the sales process, nor do they have a real understanding of, of what it means uh, to move a customer through the entire process from the top of the funnel to the end. Okay. To me, the way we address this is um, a model of collaboration and a model of shared accountability across the funnel. Yep. I think it means that marketers need to now look at their capabilities, whether it be top of funnel, through the sales process, through the feedback loop that allows us to to really engage with customers and to move them through so that we understand where they might be in the sales process so that we can support the sales teams in the context of, of winning those deals. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of models that allow us to do that and obviously there's been the likes of IBM with Bant and some other models like GPIP that we've introduced. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, but effectively what it means is we try and leverage data to align, if you like, a type of score or a definition of where the customers are in that process. Yeah. And to me, what it's about is making sure that as part of that process, we have sales and marketing working together so that we can understand where the levels of, if you like, handover and accountability are, yeah. so that we can actually attribute what we're doing to that sales capability and that sales outcome. Yeah. Yeah. 